all women are crazy, man. You just pick the one that's less crazy than the rest of them. I'm, I'm trying to talk to this girl right now. I'm gonna take her fishing, right? Well, that's definitely different. Are we not going to eat? No, nah, we're going, we, we going fishing. <laughs> I wanted to learn how to cook for me and for Ebony. So I spoke with mine and he agreed to give me some lessons. I enjoyed hooking that food up for you and Ev last week, right, right. but I'm not going to be cooking at your house, coming out, letting you call me in the middle of the night. So I'm going to teach you how to make this stuff yourself. I got to learn how to do for myself, you know what I mean? And do it well. What we got today, we got two pieces of fresh tilapia, not frozen, fresh. Coating it with some canola oil. You want to cover it real good. You're gonna do granulated garlic first. Okay. Just pick up a little bit, coat your fish. Go all over, you all in one spot. I want you to coat the fish, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my seasoning salt, right? Do your fingers like this, there you go. All right. Now, if you want it to be a little spicy, you can add your little pepper seeds right now. A little bit, a little bit. Run That's my good. Finger. Okay, good. That's good. good. All right? Paprika gives it a nice color okay. and a nice taste. The thicker the fish, the more seasoning you need. Okay. We're gonna take our knife and we're gonna chop us up some cilantro. Now, tell me something, can you smell it? Come stand yeah. over here. Yeah, you smell, I smell how it. fresh yeah. it is, right? Smell, yeah. Cilantro is very fresh. Right. It smells good, it's good. So now what we're about to do, what? we're gonna go pop this into our oven. Okay. At 350, it takes approximately 12 minutes. That's it. I'll just put it right here in the stove, right, Mark? Put that joint in the oven, we'll close the doors and it'll start it right up. Cooking is a passion, and if you love it, if you love what you're doing, it'll come out in your food. I went out with Woods. We was supposed to go fishing. Fishing? Yeah, child. Yeah, I like fishing. So I came over here to talk to my girls about this whole dinner thing with DJ Woody Wood, because I had to put it all in perspective. What happened? You been what? fishing? Yes, I've been fishing. I like fishing. Okay. I had a skirt on. <laughs> And it's sure, because I, I heard him say fishing, but I didn't believe him. I don't care what Mickey say. I'm not going fishing. I'm not getting in no dirty boat. Wait a minute. <laughs> what what would y'all want fishing at? I don't know. Being the fishing, I wanted to show him that I was interested. So I said I'll go fishing, but we didn't go. Thank God. Oh. We ended up not going fishing. <laughs> what did you say? We went to some place. It actually was nice. He was bringing her into his world. He had a personal chef come out. Okay. Oh, Why was the food? What was the food? Was it good? Was it? It was good. It was nice. We had wine and it was different. You know, Woody is all about work and all that. So, you know, it was cute. Did you like it? Do you want to? It was different. No. He stepped the game up. He got to keep it going. You can't just stop now. Right? So, yeah, so, you're right. So what's next? That's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> what's next? That was just the date. The whole restaurant thing is cool though. I liked it. That was that was what's up. He surprised her, but she wasn't going to no boot. She, she wasn't even dressed for the boot. That's gonna be a hard act to find. What do you yeah, want to do next? But you can't expect it to be that Drop at it. all at, every time. So let's see, let's see what he got next. Let's see what he got to see. She gotta keep dropping them hints though, letting them know. Like you can't fall back now, Wood. You can't fall back now. We're gonna make some mussels and marinara sauce, okay? All right. So what's gonna happen right now? We're gonna take our mussels. In our pot, we we'll turn them up. Dump that in there. The whole thing. Dump the tablespoon of minced garlic in there. You right sure? On top. Right right on top. Sure. All right. Shake it hard. Get it all in. Yeah. We're gonna add our tomato paste to it. Oh yeah. That look good. I learned how to cook from my mom and my grandma. And whenever you get the opportunity to pass it on to somebody that's receptive to it, it makes it that much better. That joint is ready. You ready? Yes. Oh, I got it, dog. You know what? I don't even need no gloves. I can oh, pull this out oh, myself, man. You try to gonna... pull that joint out of there if you want with no gloves. You be all right. What are you talking about? He going to pull a plate out the oven without no gloves on. I wish he would. But you won't get no case money <laughs> off of me. Get them fish out of there, man. <laughs> so right now, what we're going to really do, we're going to blend some of this pasta. That water's rolling. It was hot already. That's it, Wood. That's it? That's it, man. For a minute like that? That's it. A little bit more. We want to dress it up real nice. All right. You was wondering how I got that rice in that, in the shape that I did. Boom. Check us out, Wood. 
We're gonna put some of that fresh cilantro on top of our rice, just like playing in the sandcastle. Get under there real good, take it easy, don't break it up. Get him up, place him on your plate. That look good, Wood. Yo, Dress this when I make my string beans, I cook them for like 35, 40 minutes. It's called tender crisp. He just blanched them for like a minute. That's it. That's it, Wood. That's it. I'm gonna sit them down and you gonna dress them up. Let's pick these up, take them out, All right. let them get to try this. If Ebony isn't impressed with how hard I'm working, then damn, she might not be the one. Well, so he was trying to show you what his world. Okay, I'm wrong. All right, you know what? He bring me into his world, and next I'm gonna bring him into my world. And that, so you know right. what he's gonna do with me? Okay. We gonna go to Zumba. Oh, oh I'm gonna ask him what? to go to That does have a point. He needs to go into her world too. So I think that Zuba thing, that's going to tell a lot. But if he is willing, exactly. All he got to be willing to. He, he might not agree. do good, but you know. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask him to create a move to one of his songs. Oh, and we're going to play one of his songs. Oh, and we're going to do a Zuba dance. Yeah, maybe good. he could do like the, the DJ. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get a telephone call that the former vice president of creative from Arista Records, he's in town with his new act, and he invited me to come catch up. Oh, boy, it's insane, man. Oh, my God. It's been always good. I never come to Philadelphia when I call you. I know. It's been years, though. Uh, I, you know, after uh, Arista basically closed, I started managing. I decided to give it a shot. Okay. And, and I like it. Arista took us on a promotional tour to all the boys and girls clubs across the country. Man, I mean, I remember that. And that's really what got me started doing what I'm doing now. You were in one of the groups that I was so proud of, so happy. It's the same, man. Right as we're about to go in and watch Ken's new act. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Just give me one second, I'm gonna call you right back. You got to have a bigger boat, man. Are we safe right now, Wood? Do you like my friend now? I don't know who she is. You don't know who she is? Mm-mm. So I was thinking maybe take her out on a, on a boat fishing and let her get out there and see what it's like to fish. What you think? Oh, well, that's up to everything. If I was Eddie, then you wouldn't take me out on the boat. <laughs> <laughs>